mistletoe, candy canes, Santa Claus. A gingerbread woman and a gingerbread man in a gingerbread house and all. Christmas is just around the corner. Coming up, just around the bend. Welcome back to Hong Kong. Today we're going to start off with doing a quick little shopping haul of all the things we bought in Tokyo. So let's get started. First up, let's talk about the things that we got for the home cafe. These are some of the coffee beans that we got in Tokyo. This one, first off, is from Passage Coffee, one of our favorite coffee shops. We got one kilo of this one. And then we have two from Leaves Coffee. One from Fuglin. And then the most expensive one, Coffee Mameya. Next up are these home cafe accessories that I got from Flying Tiger. If you saw the vlog, I purchased uh, these Christmas mugs from them. One is the TikTok gingerbread man and then this one is the snowman. I got these mugs from Flying Tiger for our Christmas home cafe. This one is a snowman with a silicone uh, lid hat and Victor has the gingerbread man. As you guys know, we love shopping for vintage in Shimon Kitazawa, so these are all the used clothes that we purchased. I got a rugby shirt from Ralph Lauren, and then two cable knit sweaters also from Polo Ralph Lauren. I got a flannel jacket from a vintage store curated by Flamingo. I got the colors of this, it's very fall. And then I got a denim Workwear jacket, jacket that has nice stitching on it, the white stitching, and it's very structured. And then lastly, I got a blue Polo Ralph Lauren shirt with the red logo. You can see we love our vintage Polo Ralph Lauren. We also went to Tokyo Disney Sea as a part of this trip, and I bought some souvenirs for my friend Laura. These are the 40th anniversary and Duffy, and these are the Mickey Christmas items. For sneakers, I always wear Converse. 
This one we got at the White Atelier Converse store. It has the React sole, so it's more comfortable for walking long durations. And then the one I wanted to find in Tokyo was the Converse Addicts, also with the cushion heel sole, collaboration with Vibram, Vibram, I'm not sure how you say that. This is the olive green color. And these are only sold in Tokyo, so they're very special. These items I bought from Kurame from Tool Shop Nabori. Two of them are ceramics, and then one is a pair of Japanese tongs. I have no idea what this is, but I just love that decorative uh, fluted edge. And then I also bought a silver plate. And then for steak, we got some metal Japanese tongs. I like the shape of this one, so I picked it out. And these are also made in Japan. It's very minimal. So from the Brand Today Special, which is a lifestyle homeware shop, I bought a couple of pasta magnets as little gifts. And then we also bought a spatula because we just need a new one. This is from a lifestyle store we stumbled upon after Fuglin Coffee. And I saw this color of a notebook. And I had to get it because it's just so nice. Okay, all this stuff is from one of our favorite stationery stores called High Tide. They're a Fukuoka-based stationery brand. They come in a lot of colors and we like their travel packing cubes and essentials. I also got a new Twemco clock. They have one in collaboration with Penco, which is not available in Hong Kong. We also bought this large tote bag, but we all got the wrong size. We were hoping to pack our taxi lights in there, but apparently they have three sizes and we grabbed whatever we did and it's the wrong one. <laughs> Super random, but I got this coconut fiber from Daiso because I want to put it on top of my plants as just a decorative detail. As you guys know, we love our vinyls and we wanted to find some Japanese jazz this time around. So this store is from Disc Union. We found some very cheap vinyls that just, we don't know what they sound like, but they look good and they have a bit of jazz artists that we like. So I had to try it out. They were about 800 yen each. They're quite cheap, they're used, and I guess they are quite good quality and very well maintained. They're all in the plastic wrap still. I'm pretty sure they're, they're gonna sound great. And from the Labo, I got a new perfume scent. It's exclusive in Tokyo called the Gageic 10. And then I have a printed my name and a heart shape and Tokyo on it. Next up is from Victor's favorite brand, Beams. They were doing a collaboration with Polo Ralph Lauren. So we ended up getting the cardigan and a sweater. The Polo logo is on the reverse side. They're both in cream and it's just a very nice classic to have. Although I don't think the quality is that great because there's a bit of pilling already on Victor's cardigan. I wore it two days only. Next up is a crossbody bag. You may have heard the Uniqlo viral crossbody bag. It's similar but a little bit bigger and I like the color because it's also in green. And I can borrow it too. Yes. Last but not least, we have a couple of items from Prada and Bottega Veneta. When we were in Japan, we weren't intending on buying luxury items. But if you purchase at Isaten, you can get a 5% off guest card on top of the 10% tax back you get. Coupled with the fact that the yen is very low right now, we were able to save several thousand dollars on all these items. So first up, we have Victor's Bottega card case. The color is quite similar to my cost bag but it's also a little darker. I was trying to find a card case for a long time with enough slots for all my cards, at least minimum of six, and this one actually had like six plus a wider middle section. section. So it was a great purchase. In an avocado green that he loves. Yeah. So I've been wanting to buy a Bottega Veneta bag for some time now, but I was looking more in the pre-love market. I just couldn't find anything that was suitable for me at the price point I wanted. So when I went to Issa 10, I was considering buying um, the new hot bag or a Jody, and this is what I ended up buying. I got the medium sized Jody bag in fondant, and I like how this is very oversized and in a very dark color. I decided to get it new in the store because I ended up saving around 8,000 Hong Kong dollars with the tax bag and the guest card. Actually, I've started using this already. As soon as I bought it, the next day I took it on the airplane with me. This is my new bag. I think I'll do a proper bag review next year, so if you want to see one of those, stay tuned. Up next, we have a couple of items from Prada. 
My friend wanted a nylon hairband, so I helped her purchase it at the store in Isaten. Apparently, it's really hard to find, so he said as soon as you find it, you should just purchase it. And I helped her save about 800 Hong Kong dollars getting it in Japan. Originally, the sales associate showed me the one in velvet, but she didn't want that one. She wanted the classic nylon, so I got her the narrow one. And last but not least, I was passing by the Prada in Miyashita and I spotted this jacket in the window and went to try it on and fell in love with it. It is from their Prada Nylon with Magnum Photos collaboration. This is what the packaging looks like. I ended up purchasing it at the Prada in Aoyama just because I felt like that store was so iconic in its architecture. I just wanted to get it there. So here's the jacket. It's a cropped nylon style with just a Prada logo on the side. The sales associate was really nice and ended up giving us this Prada Reporter coffee table book in a color that Vic obviously loves. And then we also got a photo print as well from the Magnum Photo collaboration. Hope you guys enjoyed that little unboxing and now we gotta clean up our living room.
wasting any dreams this Christmas I've made my wish upon that star the only dream of which my list consists is to always be wherever Yeah, there will be no praying for the snow to fall. It would not make a difference.